from mummies to personal belongings. Stay tuned to number one to find out what proved to be one of the most important archaeological finds of all time. Number 10. Strange Bacteria a team of Russian scientists were digging deep down into the surface of Antarctica when they found a very, very old lake. As strange as it might sound to you, they found a lake below the surface of the icy continent. This is not a typical phenomenon, but they do exist, and scientists refer to them as subglacial lakes. This lake, in particular, is Lake Vostok, and it is the biggest subglacial lake on the continent of Antarctica. But finding a subglacial lake wasn't the strange part. What happened afterwards is more mysterious. When the team of scientists took some samples, they brought them over for analysis, and what they found amazed them. A sample of bacteria from Lake Vostok was completely unique, as they couldn't find a match for it anywhere else in the known world. This made them consider the possibilities of alien origins, as it was hard to explain the existence of the bacteria otherwise. However, it turned out that the reason for the unmatchable bacteria was quite simple. According to scientists, Lake Vostok was isolated for so long that the specific form of bacteria probably evolved on its own, in a completely separate mutational path. Number 9. Swarm of Grasshoppers Grasshoppers in ice? It doesn't sound right, does it? Well, you wouldn't normally associate these insects with snow and ice, but we're not making it up. Actually, there's a place in Montana near Cook City that's called Grasshopper Glacier. And the name isn't a metaphor, it's actually a glacier filled with grasshoppers. Millions of them! In 1914, there was an analysis which revealed that the grasshoppers inside of this glacier actually belonged to a species that had gone extinct a couple of centuries before. The safe guess was that the swarm of grasshoppers, while passing by, had been caught in a huge blizzard, getting trapped there forever, under a big pile of ice and snow. And this is not the only type of grasshopper-infested glacier, as there are quite a number of them with similar names. Is it just me, or does this eerily sound like the microbursts from the movie The Day After Tomorrow? Number 8. World War I Artifacts one of the big military fronts of World War I was in northern Italy, in the mountainous region close to Switzerland. This area was largely covered in snow and ice, but this started changing in the 1990s when the glacier started melting. It was then that many World War I artifacts started being found in that region near the town of Peio, including personal items and military equipment. This was all kept practically intact because the soldiers died of extremely low temperatures, but also because of avalanches caused by the fighting. A huge number of young men, barely past their teens, died and were never found. Because there was no way to get their bodies, they were buried deep in the snow. But as the snow began melting, the bodies of soldiers who died, along with their belongings, started to surface. Among those things that have been found are ammo cases, parts of trenches, old photographs, helmets, and more. Number 7. A Fish Eating a Fish When two brothers went fishing on Lake Wawasee in Indiana, they came across a strange sight. One fish was half in ice, trying to eat another fish. The two fish, a northern pike biting on a bass, were both frozen but it almost looked just as if the two creatures were pausing for a second because of how intensely real they looked. The two men wanted to share their find with the world, so they posted a photo of what they found only to be accused of faking the whole thing for a few likes on social media. But since it was true, the brothers decided to go one step further. They went back and actually shot a video of the two of them cutting a block of ice with the fish. When the video was posted, it was clear what had happened. The pike, wanting to swallow the bass, most likely choked to death and froze with its prey still in its mouth. What a turn of events. Number 6. Alaskan Aircraft Wreckage In 2012, a helicopter pilot flying above Alaska noticed something sticking out from the snow, and he decided to inspect it more closely. It turned out the object was a wreck of an airplane, which was strange because there hadn't been any crashes in that area in recent years. But upon further investigation, the wreckage was much older than anyone could have expected. 
it was discovered that the plane in question had crashed back in 1952. However, this wasn't the end of it. The actual place where the plane crashed in 52 was far away from the place where the wreckage was found, some 12 and a half miles away. What happened is that due to global warming and changes in climate, the wreckage was slowly moving. As no human remains were found, it is suspected that they must have moved even further down, possibly into the depths of Lake George. In the years to come, we might expect to have more findings pertaining to this 1952 crash. Number 5. A Horse High in the mountains of Norway near Opland, in a site that's 6,500 feet high, the bones of a horse, dating all the way back to the Iron Age, was found. Along with the bones, there was a horseshoe and some manure preserved in perfect shape. This was a very interesting find, as it enabled scientists to learn more about prehistoric cultures living in present-day Norway. This evidence proves that the people in the region used horses to take products and materials high up into the mountains, which is an interesting glimpse into their way of life. The region where the horse bones were found is a very important location in the archaeological world, as a couple of months prior to this, a woolen tunic was found, dating back almost 2,000 years. The only problem here is that the ice is melting extremely fast, and there is risk that all of these unearthed artifacts may be permanently destroyed. Once they come in contact with the open air, their degradation will ensue. Number 4. Siberian Copper Mummies In 1997, near Salikard in Siberia, two mummified bodies were found. They belong to an adult and a child around six months old. According to the research conducted at the time, the two bodies date back to the medieval period. Found in a place called Zeleni Yar, a necropolis from ancient times, they were simply lying in the melting permafrost. In addition to these two bodies, more than 100 mummified corpses were found in this area, and it became one of the most important archaeological sites for miles around. It's interesting that the mummy of the adult was covered with birch bark and canvas, but also overlaid with strips of copper. Little is known about old cultures in these subarctic regions. Hopefully, the finds from Zeleni Yar will shed some more light and help scientists learn more about old Siberian peoples and their day-to-day -day rituals. Number 3. Sasha the Baby Woolly Rhino That's a tongue twister. In 2014, in the Siberian region called Yakutia, a man named Sasha discovered something unique – the remains of a baby woolly rhinoceros. Scientists immediately took the animal for research, as this was an extremely unique find. It turned out that the baby rhino was around 7 months old when it died. Unfortunately, it wasn't possible to find out whether the animal was male or female because its internal organs weren't preserved. But nevertheless, this is a very important find because it helps scientists discover much more about the woolly rhinos living in prehistoric times. We can now safely say that this animal was covered in very thick hair because there is solid evidence. Before the discovery of Sasha, scientists could only make assumptions according to rock paintings in French caves, as there was nothing else to lean on. Apparently, woolly rhinos were fully equipped for cold climates right from the start of their life. Number 2. Otzi Otzi is a preserved mummy found in September of 1991 in the region of the Otzal Alps, on the Italian-Austrian border, hence his nickname. This is the oldest human mummy found in Europe, and it represents one of the most important finds of its kind ever. The mummy was found by two tourists from Germany on September 19, 1991, when the two of them were walking across some mountain passes. At first, the two tourists thought they came across the body of a mountaineer. A couple of days later, the body was successfully extracted from the location, and it was then moved to the city of Innsbruck. When it was finally examined by archaeologist Conrad Spindler, the body was dated at around 4,000 years old. Before we get to number 1, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button below. Number 1. Mummy Juanita this is the name given to a well-preserved body of a girl found in 1995 in Peru by anthropologist Johann Reinhard. According to Time magazine, Mummy Juanita ranks among the top 10 most important discoveries of all time. Why you ask? Well, when found, the mummy was wrapped in a bundle, but along with the girl's body there were other things as well, such as pieces of food and some statues. 
the girl was probably sacrificed as an offering to the gods, being killed with a strong blow to the head, as the examination revealed. But the real reason why Juanita is an extremely important find is the way that it was preserved. Unlike other mummies found in other parts of the world, Juanita is practically intact, which is very rare. Her body was naturally mummified as a result of being frozen for so long, and her skin, organs, hair, and garments are in perfect condition. This gives scientists a chance to teleport themselves five centuries earlier and learn more about what it was like to be an Incan during the second part of the 14th century. Tell us what you think about these findings in the comments below and take care.